SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool and simple pen light that you can use to write in the dark. Let's get started. Here are the parts that you're going to need to be able to build this useful pen light. What you're going to need is a simple ballpoint pen, a couple of wires, and you'll also need a nickel metal hydrate 3.6 volt 40 milliampere battery, a press button switch that turns locks on and locks off, an LED, a 10 ohm resistor. First you're going to start with is to remove the insulation on both ends of these wires. Go ahead and solder the red wire to the positive or anode of the LED. And put a heat shrink tube on it to keep it insulated. There we go. And now you're going to go ahead and remove the end cap of your pen and just get a feel of where the LED might be when you hold the pen regularly so you can be able to comfortably hold it with the LED. Now go ahead and remove the pen part and then go ahead and saw a little hole on the end right there. Gouge it out with a hot knife. Saw it just a little more and just make a little incision so that way you can be able to slip the wires through and put the LED. It should look like this. There we go, now take your two wires from your LED and slide it through the pen. And then pull it out from the other end so that way it slips in. There we go, and now go ahead and put your pen, put the ink part of your pen back inside. And then test it to see if it feels comfortable to write, and it does. Good, now you have your two wires sticking out of the end of the pen. It seems to be too much wire, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess. And same thing for the battery part. Remove the insulation on both the wires, and then solder them into place. And now I go ahead and solder the negative lead to your press button switch. Solder the 10 ohm resistor, just like that. And now go ahead and put a shrink tube on it to keep the insulation to prevent any shortage. And go ahead and solder the negative, solder the negative wire from your resistor to the negative wire of your battery. Shrink the tube. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take the shrink tube and cover the soldered wires to keep it insulated to prevent any shortage. Go ahead and shrink it. Be careful it's hot, but still melt, still soft to be able to pinch it. There we go. Melt it a little more. There we go. Now it should be stuck together perfectly. Now go ahead and get your hot glue and glue your batteries to your pen. Make sure it's all glued into place and secured and solid. Now go ahead and put glue around the switch. And make sure everything's all glued in and solid into place. There we go, now go ahead and put some glue where the LED is at the end of the pen, so that way it stays in more firm and more secure. There we go. Now it is done. There we go, and now you have your LED. And now you have your batteries into place, your two wires that are exposed, because that's meant for charging, and then you press button switch on the top, and you press it on and it works. So you just click it like you normally do on a normal clicking pin, and it turns on and off just like that.
Now let's go ahead and test, and look, it still writes. See? You can write like a normal pen. And then, of course, you can turn the light on and write with the light on, so that way you can be able to see what you're writing in the dark. And the direction of the light goes right where you're writing, and you can be able to see what you're doing. And if you run out of ink, don't throw the pen away, just remove the inner cartilage that holds the ink. And then you can easily replace it with another one. Or you can do the same thing if you want to change color. Have a black color, blue color, red color, green, or anything you want. And to be able to recharge it, go to your lab bench power supply and crank it, turn it up to 3.6 volts, attach the positive wire to the positive, and attach the negative wire to the negative, and that will charge your battery just like that. But in this case, the battery is already charged, so it's kind of unnecessary to do right now. But that's what you have to do in the future. Let's go ahead and test it in the dark. And there you have it. It works perfectly in the dark. I can completely see what I'm doing. So I know what I'm writing and I can see what I'm writing in the dark. Thank you for watching SciTiTech. Hopefully you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe for more SciTiTech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.